My mother and grandmother used the open kettle canning method for decades and passed the knowledge on to me. I have been canning 40 to 70 quarts of tomatoes this way every year for over 40 years. I also can sweet pickles, dill pickles, sweet pickled beets, and used to can salsa this way as well. Open kettle canning and water bath canning can be used for high acid content fruits, vegetables, and that sort of thing like tomatoes. Um, it's good if you have a pH test strip, and they suggest you can buy at any local science supply store. And it just comes in a little piece of paper. We're going to test them here. Right here we have hard water from the tap. You just dip it in, and within about 30 seconds, you're supposed to read the pH. And you compare it to the colors on this chart. It most closely resembles a pH of 7, if we compare it to 8. 7 is, it's kind of a cross between a 6 and a 7. 7 is considered neutral. And the lower the number of pH, the higher the acid. Uh, you want a pH of 4.6 or lower to get a high enough acid content to use water bath canning or open kettle canning. Um, this is the hard tap water. Let's test the softened water. Softened water. It looks like it's a little closer to neutral than the hard water was. It's more of a seven. This is apple cider vinegar. When we go to compare this in about 30 seconds, it most closely resembles a two, which is plenty high enough acid. It's a low enough pH to be high acid enough to can open kettle or water bath canning. They only get to 212 degrees, which is boiling, so they have to have the high acid content to preserve it. Now this is a mixture of apple cider vinegar and softened water half and half, which generally pickles would be about that. That's what I do my pickles at. Some pickles are a little bit less acidic than the way I do it. I do half and half. And if we look and compare, it looks like it's most closely related to the 4. And again, it has to be a 4.6 or lower on the pH scale. It's a little bit, maybe in between 3 and 4. And let's try some salsa that we canned. Well, actually, we canned the tomatoes, and then we used the tomatoes to make salsa afterwards. Let's see where that lies. That one again looks like it's about a four. Botulism is an illness caused by a bacteria found naturally in soil that can grow in low acid foods without the presence of air. It doesn't reproduce in high acid foods. The bacteria releases a nerve toxin when it grows and is responsible for approximately 22 cases of foodborne illness in the U.S. per year, which result in approximately one death per year. I hope you found this video informational. Thanks for watching.